Hey guys, how's it going? Wemo here. So, you wanted them, I'm gonna give it to you. Ugh, God. The old videos, the old Left 4 Dead videos I did, my tips videos, you, t fucking 10 years ago, I think it was. <laughs> yeah. You guys, some of you old folks want to see them? I'm going to put them up. That's fine with me. That's cool. Uh, I will say, as a few side notes, I'm not going to touch these. I'm not going to edit them. I'm not going to do anything to them. Uh, aside from a little bit of trimming here and there. But uh, if there is a video that I didn't put up that you want to see, that you remember, let me know. Uh, hit me up in the comments, Twitter, messages, whatever. Whatever you want to use to contact me, let me know and I can put it up. I won't do this intro in front of all of them. Just this first one. So here's the playlist. Here's the old videos. Uh, enjoy? What is up, Whammo here with another game of Left 4 Dead 2 for you. This is not with my normal team, and it is again on No Mercy. This is a game that I played a while back, actually, uh, before I had started this moving process. I just had it in my list of games to cast, and I simply forgot about it. So, yeah, I'm not really sure what uh, happens in this game, but I held it down as a good game, so we'll see what happens. Um, a good first attack there. Not really, it was kind of weak. The Charger really kind of messed it up. They should have waited from down here for that attack, especially with that loadout. Very good loadout for the spot of the attack. Able to wipe through this pretty quickly, moving forward. El Rapido. All the way to the drop point. I'm not going to have spawns in for this, no way. Should be just dropping. There is a Witch in close proximity to this drop. Smoker going on the Witch. Oh, and getting a melee on the Witch. Is she going to... Oh my god, how did that happen? That Witch was cleared by a couple of lucky melees, I think. Um, Charger Hunter Spitter combo go down right there on the guys in the back. That was an improv attack, completely unplanned, and I just got lucky right there. Whatever works though, you know, sometimes you have to do that as an infected team. They all spawn on top of each other and attack. That sometimes works pretty well. Jester is now rushing forward, exactly what we need to be doing. Pushing, pushing, pushing as we clear attacks, we just run. Works extremely well. Able to move really quickly through here. May even be able to circumvent this next attack. If we can get somebody down there, spawn block. There is a smoker up here, so we need to wait for. Oh, he grabs me. Unlucky for that smoker. Oh, and the charger does go, but doesn't go all the way out. Another unlucky little happening there. Jockey may be able to save that though. He didn't hit the car. That jockey did not hit that car with that guy. Can we prevent the car alarm from going off? This is a tricky game right here. We do not set off that car alarm. Unbelievable! How lucky is that right there? Did not set off that car alarm at all. <laughs> so that is a good way to make the other team very, very upset. All the way to safe room. We took next to no damage right there. Took maybe one halfway decent attack. But hey, could be good. Mhm. Mm what Jesse just said there was the the car alarm and the witch were both pretty. Uh, I wouldn't call them buggy, they were lucky. They were very, very lucky. The witch has some issues with its close range tracking and it's missing when it tries to swing at you. Which is, it is what it is. You know, every happens for everybody, but it doesn't happen all the time, which is kind of annoying. Uh, like I said before, this is a good bottom of the stairs combination. It is exactly what you want, actually. Hmm. Hunter is silent when standing, so he will be scratching out the doors. The hunter happens to be me. Do I need to skip forward here? Perhaps. Nope. Not quite. We are going to push down the stairs right there. Scratching out these doors. All of them. There's two more that you missed there, idiot. Okay, I guess we're not going to scratch out the two in the bathroom. Perhaps for fear of them pushing down here quickly. But they are going to go slowly and wait for an attack. Moving forward rather slowly. Giving a scratch at those vases for no good reason. Jockeying the first one, there he goes. Charge is going to go after that. Perfect spit going down right there. Nicely done. You should be able to pounce this guy in the spit. There we go. Getting cleared through the wall, maybe? Probably getting cleared through the wall. And the death puddle that spit are able to down somebody. Gotta be cautious of, cautious of those death puddles, guys. They are very hazardous. Although I think he may have been still getting up when it happened. Uh, if you can't read the text, uh, you should probably up the resolution to read it, because I don't remember saying that, and it's pretty funny. <laughs> oh, good stuff. The wall is not broken, so they cannot try and run around the witch. They pretty much have to engage her, and there's the smoker getting a nice pull into that witch. Is she going to be buggy? She may not cause anything to happen. No, it doesn't look like it. Oh my god, what a charge and hunter combination right there with that spit going down. Ooh, just destroying him right there. 
That was an extremely strong attack. And there comes the laugh macro. Love it. They're probably going to heal right now. Such a short map. As soon as you get into colors, you pretty much should heal. There they go. Should have another attack in for the hallways. Should have an attack in. Yeah, that witch did not do anything. <laughs> Just really buggy, I guess. Oh, not going to get the hallway attack off. Not quite. Probably just going to set up on the car now. There's really nothing else you can do here. Uh, maybe a damage pounce in this. That guy is kind of going off by himself. No, not really. Uh, we are sitting on a no smoker, no charger. Very bad. Able to get a long distance boom from uh, Jester there. Beautiful. And he kept it alive. Trying to spit this 100 pounds as best I can, but uh, just uh, not going to happen. Or maybe it will. I'm able to keep him in my death puddle for a couple more dings. You do not take damage from the spit puddle when getting up as you've been pounced. Yes, Boomer is standing next to the car now, and they shoot him. Fair enough, I guess, if you want to do that. They have taken quite a bit of damage. They know they've lost the damage war, so they're probably not even going to uh, attempt to take less damage. That is that. At least they made it to the safe room. Had they not made it to the safe room, they probably would have rage quit. Interesting thing I've noticed about this first level. Let's see how lopsided these are. Yeah, that's what I figured. You know, three times their score, whatever. It works. Hmm. Very interesting. Next round should be fun, though. Hmm. Lots of waiting in the safe room in this game. That's kind of interesting. Uh, I'm not really sure why we're doing it. But, uh, you know, at least it's not rushing. It's better than rushing. <laughs> For sure. Uh, clearing this top area, there wasn't, there wasn't a lot of hold of horde up here. There wasn't a lot of horde up here, if I can speak properly today. Being cautious here. It is good to play this area slowly and cautiously because it is a strong attack point because there's so many spawns and so many opportunities for the infected to attack. Able to clear that boomer though, which is going to seriously weaken the attack here. Charger did go, not getting a hold of anything. Hunter from the back, able to do a little bit of damage, and the smoker did go as well. Charger getting in those few additional scratches for, oh, I don't know, 35 damage maybe? Able to push forward quite quickly now. There's a deagle on the floor. Always useful. Much better than a regular pistol because it's so accurate when you're down. Maybe should have gone up left because this is upright and more often than not there's tier 2 on the up left side. Should be a spawn in by now. They should be ready to attack here at this ammo pile, I imagine. Very common attack spot. There goes the spit right down on the ammo and the smoke. Not able to get a hold of anything with that smoker. There's the boomer from the front. Able to clear him. Don't know where that hunter is. This is, this is where communication comes in. Hunter is actually back in the corner. I'm taking tons of horde. Able to clean it up though. Somehow. I don't even know how I did that because right now I cannot see what's going on. <laughs> Out of ammo with my shotgun. Forced to resort to my pistol. Almost getting stuck back here in the spit. Not going to let that spitter do anything to me. There we go. And then waiting out the death pole, I probably should have just ran through it while I'm on 39 health. Yeah, that's a good decision to heal. Stop freaking out the damn witch. Necessary. I took a lot of damage from that little horde happy area there. Ooh, a charger back up the stairs for that guy in the front. Probably Jester. Yes, it was. That was my fault for needing to heal in the back. Oh, Domino shooting that boomer through the train car. There is tier two down here. Looks like an M16. Very nice. Useful. We can shut the door behind us, and then we'll be able to chase with that horde. Watch where you're shooting. There we go. Smoker is up front. Boomer did go in the back, so we shouldn't have to worry about that. Smoker is up there to the left, doing something. There it is. I don't know why you would smoke from over there. It is completely useless. Here comes a hunter from the side, able to punch, or able to dead stop him, and then get in cap. Uh, that might be for the best, actually, because we can just rush the event now. They have two people down, three people down now. So it's not going to be a very difficult thing to do. A little bit of residual horde here. Two benches on. There are going to be pills, of course, in here. You can't give pills to somebody with a shot. It's important to realize what's going on with that kind of stuff. Charger is up. Maybe be uh, yeah, above us. Yeah, there he is above us. Might be setting up a smoker downstairs. 
There goes a spit off in that room. Yes, it was setting up the smoker downstairs. The smoker does get that pull. Gonna head back down the doorway because I saw the pull go off. But there are two down there. I need to just stay upstairs. There you go. There you go. Two and two is much stronger than trying to rush back to the two. I should have made that boomer. Oh my god. Taking a boom up here. We were pretty much ready to run. We could just be running to the door right now. I don't know why we're... I'm still sitting back here, I guess. I shouldn't say we. Could easily be running that door right now. There we go. Able to get through there. Taking maybe a little bit more horror than we should have. Uh, simply because we could have avoided that smoke down and maybe ran the door a little bit quicker. Uh, mostly my fault. <laughs> going straight through here, right out the window. Nothing's going to stop us up. There we go, easy as that. Always land on those trash bags there, guys. Always on the trash bags. I heard that charge go off when I stepped to the right there. I knew it was coming. That is going to suck. Actually, that hunter may have just helped us. It's going to cause Jester to take a little bit less damage. Not enough to stop it from going down. Oh, there goes a smoker there. Got to be careful of those. There we go. Now the attack is down. Now we can get him up. Hmm. Curious attack. Very curious. The charge spit combo in the back of that hallway is strong. Uh, just most people don't have it up for that attack. Uh, maybe you should take a note to start saving attacks for there. there because there's really no strong attack in the other room. Hmm. Interesting. We're going to be able to get all of it at safe now, though. There we go. Chester taking a few chunks out of some of the survivors of that chainsaw. It's not very nice. We are on 11.25 points thanks to the damage points from the first round. Thank goodness for these. Damage points, that is. What is our starting combo? We are looking at Charger Boomer. Mm. Could go with a pull down and a charge back with the Boomer in for support. Doesn't look like it's going to happen. We're going to go for the pull back and the charge forward. There's the pull back. There's the charge forward. I know I said charge forward, but that just means stopping the first guy. So we're all going to run back. Just keeping him forward. Maybe a double charge. Yes, getting a double charge there. Very nice. Very, very nice. If you guys didn't know, if you pop a boomer next to a charger who has a survival pin, you will get your, uh, your charge instantly recharged. <laughs> you will be able to charge immediately. So keep that in mind when a boomer pops next to you as a charger. You don't need to just freak out and say, oh my gosh, you can actually charge right away again. Spitter coming at the last second might be able to get a few extra damage points in there. Yes, it's always not going to move quickly enough. Ooh, she took a lot of damage there. She's going to need to heal. Perhaps Francis as well, yes. Or Lewis, rather. Lewis is taking a med pack as well as Zoe. Two med packs early in this round. Not good. Not good at all. They also are going upright curious because we went up right and there was nothing there. If the other team goes up right and there's nothing there, you should probably go up left. Or at least have checked that when you're playing Infected. Something to keep in mind. Knowing where all your supplies are on the map, because it does change. Um, Bill could have easily punted me there. He could have uh, immediately been to stop me from doing that, but uh, not what he did. Sitting on tier 1 shotguns, Francis, or, yeah, yeah. Francis trying to clear that charge there, doing a very bad job of it. Smoker going off in the back. Under a quad boom like this, it is difficult to fend off an attack, which is why boomer first attacks are so strong. Um, didn't do a lot of damage to that attack, but it was a good one. Does that make sense? No, it does not. We did a little bit of damage, but they were all still pretty high health, so uh, just taking them down from that completely over green situation to just a regular green situation. There is a witch on this stairway here. Jester rushed that witch actually and crowned early, which is why he took that charge initially. I completely forgot that witch was even there, actually. Didn't even notice it. We are sitting Charger Spitter. Charger, maybe we could get up front. No one's going to go for the train charge. I'm not in place at all to help with that. Oh my god, if I was, that would be devastating. Charger did scatter two of them and carried one. That is... Unfortunate that I was not ready for that. May try and push the crown on the witch. However, they are still sitting on tier one. Going for the scratches on the witch. Missing the first scratch, but it doesn't really matter. Not quite able to get that spit off, which would have been helpful. Very nice. Are they still sitting on tier 1? Why would they still be sitting on tier 1? There was tier 2 down in that room below them. That's, uh... Whatever. They were all on shotguns as well. Except for Zoe, who has Another curious thing. 
setting up this attack up here. Having a boomer in first is not a bad thing at all. I don't know why they piped the bottom room there, and I'm going to sneeze. There we go. Yeah, um, I don't know what that pipe was for. I guess it helped a little bit, but it didn't do a whole lot. Boomer should be coming in as soon as that alarm or that event is triggered when he gets to spawn. Looking for that drop. Is it going to be here? It's in a good position now. Should be able to do something with it. There's the boomer spawn. There's the drop. Able to get two of them, which is the cue for me and the jockey to go in. Right there. Just now finally grabbing the 2-2. Two -two. That hunting rifle there. I uh, don't know if I meant to fall down the hole. Jesse is still sitting on a charger. Could be very nice for scratches. I wish I had a tad menu to show their health, but they are all very low. A few scratches could destroy that team. Perhaps looking for the despawn. Unfortunately, it is a mile away from right here. Charger does go right there. Doesn't get a hold of anything, but is able to get away. Now Charger is not quite going for scratches. Probably running back for the, the uh, despawn. And they are searching. They are searching these rooms. Zoe's still on tier one. Uh, communication necessary on my team. One dropping three up here. Not good for them at all. Almost able to get hurt today. But uh, probably should have been going for Bill because he is still in here. No. Not going to happen. Not going to be able to take advantage of that. Wall kicking up there. Trying to get something stupid. Not going to happen. Yeah, I'm looking for that something stupid. Perhaps the car trigger. Not quite going to happen. Another pound, or another wall kick. Able to get on the guy, not quite get on the guy who is colored. That was, uh, I don't mean colored like a racist thing, I mean colored like he was in colors, like hurting. But not quite landing the pounce, thanks to getting picked. Boomer does hit him through the door, but it's not going to be an issue as they're in the safe room, closing the door on that jockey. Who got the damage points now? I hate to say probably us, but uh, probably us. Oh, by two points. Two points. Oof, duh. that is uh, entertaining. So now we could be looking at a very cautious round with the points being so close to each Careful other. Jester able to sidestep that charger, but he's going to take the spit and the hunter there. Might be able to get out of it quickly. No, he's going to get stuck in the door. Oh, that sucks. That does suck. There goes about 50 health right there. That does clear their attack, though. Very nice. Getting all these supplies that are in here. There's usually a lot of them. Watch out! Stopping the type. Weapons over here. Always good. Here is a uh, rifle and an M16. A good spread of weapon action right there. Spit going down for no possible reason whatsoever. Jockey getting punted, not able to do anything. No boomer from the roofs. They uh, didn't have it or weren't willing to use it right there. Who knows? Hunter is bouncing around back there. Uh, perhaps looking for a damage pounce, which is very popular amongst hunters. They like to wait for the damage pounces when they perhaps should not. It's much, much, much more important to go with your team. Uh, damage pounces are useful, yes, but they are more purposeful as attack initiators as opposed to a boomer. You land a damage pounce with a boomer right behind it. Works really well. I did miss my little jump onto this platform because I was asking if they were going to get out of So now i got to wait for the stupid ladder to come down. There's the stupid ladder. Climbing up the stupid ladder. There you go. Hope I didn't catch anything off that ladder. Like a bad case of stupid. Hunter is still bouncing around. Charger from the front. Missing completely with the separation charge. Going to get rid of him because you do not want to be able to recharge. See, see what I did there? A, a recharge. Get it? I'm getting smoked back on the last one up there. A stupid mistake of mine, I should have simply ran instead of going for the charger. They are all going to come down here, I'm only going to take about 30 damage, and somehow 5 fall damage from dropping a third of an inch onto the ground. Going back upstairs for the pills and the ammunition. Uh, Jester was getting fucked up up here. That's okay. What was that, 3 pills in that chest perhaps? Yes, which means we can go pill happy. Yes, I heard that charger coming, I knew he was there. That was not wall hacks, people. I knew the charger was coming because I heard him. 
We are still taking a vent horde in this room. I'm gonna light it, because I am tired of seeing a vent horde in that room. Jockey coming up from the front, able to stop us from getting Jesse up that much quicker, or that much longer. And we are just having all kinds of trouble getting this guy up. There we go, finally. Couldn't use that med pack. Spit did go down in that room there. Uh, it was maybe a distant spit. Couldn't quite tell where we were. We need to get out of here so we stop taking this med pack. There we go. Smoker from the back. Not quite getting able to get anything. That was really close, actually. Wouldn't have been a big deal, but it would have let them set up for another attack. It's not good for us. Need to be careful of this hallway now. You know there's two of them in. There's the charger. Able to get up in its nostrils. Very nice. Stopping that charge from happening. Something I like doing now is getting up in charger's faces when they come at you. It's kind of funny, actually. <laughs> there's the tank trigger. Maybe shouldn't have been pushing forward like that. We should be able to run it back to the outside if we want, or we could simply just try and take it in these hallways, uh, shooting gallery style. Ow, 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 ow. That was extremely bad. If you run into a spit puddle after it has been on the ground for the majority of its life, it will do much, much more damage than if you had just sat in it. It's kind of a hard thing to, uh, to explain. Ah. Uh, yeah. Tank going for that forehood. Um, not going to be very useful in here. Unless you get somebody pinned in that corner like that. Ooh, that was bad. Very bad. Oh my god. Able to do a ton of damage on Jester there. He is at half health down. Quarter health down. Or Boomer from the back shooting him. Oh, should have melee that. That is going to suck. Uh, sitting on one Molotov. A couple kits and a couple sets of pills. Don't know what I'm doing. I need to be killing the Hordes on me. Not worried about the tank. This is why I need to be killing the Hordes on me so I can help my teammates. Able to get to a safe spot. In case you didn't notice, the tank is down. Able to clean up the remainder of that Horde. That one zombie hit him. Stopped him from getting up right before he was finished. That sucks. There we go. Um, the other team is surprisingly effective at the task. Or we're just acting like idiots, who knows. Probably a combination of both. Getting smoke from that window. Not a lot of people know that window's up there. As a matter of fact, I didn't know about it until not too long ago. Hollywood completely ignoring the boomer. Oh, huge horde spawn in that room. Good for us. I've said it before and I'll say it again. Um, if large chunks of hordes spawn in front of you, it is very good. It is good. Don't take it as a bad thing because you can just wipe out that horde quickly. Boom. Horde's gone. Very easy to deal with. I love it. That's kind of a crappy... Uh, a crappy happening for the other team. Watch it can be useful though if we throw an attack at him right then. Look at this. Getting a shot right here. We know the attack's gonna be up. Probably have something for this. Lighting the doorway, which works. Yeah. However, I am more a fan of simply dropping two and leaving two up here. Uh, because if you drop two, chances are they're going to attack. Period. It's just the way it is. Nine times out of ten, two people can clear an attack that's going to come at them up there. Pretty easily, because it seems like the way they come in as infected, they are looking for that only one person to be left, unable to defend themselves, which is exactly what you don't want to give them. You want to be completely ready to defend yourself up there. You want to be shooting accurately. You want to be you know, on your feet. Probably going to save their attack for the ladder. Which is good for us, actually, because we can just run right up here and know it's here. We're going to pipe that and then run up under the cover of that pipe explosion, using it to clear anything that may impact it. Hunter does land on somebody able to do a little bit of damage. Domino standing in that spit for longer than maybe should have. Didn't take a lot of damage from it, though, thankfully. Very nice. Jester did take a good chunk of health from that pounce up there, which is annoying. You've all seen the hunter pounces at the top of that ladder that drop you all the way down and in cap you. Extremely annoying and obnoxious. And uh, one horde on this ladder can stop you from crawling up it. Gonna use this bile early. Get rid of all the horde in this area. However, there's a guy smoked down here now. When I fall down the ladder, that should not be able to happen. Stupid, that bile is out. Jockey dropping guy down behind me. Um, funny more than anything, I guess. 
vial is still out of its, its vial is going to shortly hand it up. It's going to be very bad for us when all that horde comes at us. Jockey again, getting another jockey, not taking the fall damage this time though. I do get up thankfully. We were able to get up here before all this horde comes at us. Perhaps outside of our trigger radius. Spitter just a little bit late to that party. Not going to be able to help him stop us from getting up this, the uh, ladder. But now we're all very low health. That ladder is an extremely big issue. <laughs> it can be a bitch thing to take care of. Should be able to make it safer now. And there we go. Gave them a lot of damage there. I can imagine they're sitting somewhere in the range of maybe 700, 600, 800, you know, somewhere in there. We'll see if we make it all the way to safe from the, what the damage looks like. Because I would be curious to see myself. The good rounds going off right there in an odd troll-like fashion. Of course. Um, Charger Spinner combination with a Hunter and Jockey. Hmm. A very strong door attack combination. It can be either really bad or really good. Uh, because there is no boomer, if they clear us all before we're able to get any damage on anyone, they will simply just rush because they will have no horde stopping them. However, if we get a good charge off and a good jockey and hunter in the spit, you can possibly in-cap somebody, maybe even two or three or the entire team sometimes. Something to keep in mind here. You have to be very uh, understanding of how these attacks can go. Nothing is for sure in this game. Probably should have let the jockey have her to get him out of here. Get him out of that area. Gonna get a recount here. Still in the spit, yes. Yes, still in the spit. Not quite a double pounce. Or not quite a triple pounce, rather. Because I had to recharge my uh, my pounce for some reason. That was a middle of the road attack. Able to do a little bit of damage. Not quite taking anyone out of green, but then again, not all getting picked at a distance either. Using that pipe bomb there, there are tends to be more supplies than you can carry in those rooms, so you know, a random pipe here and there can be useful. I prefer to throw it to where the event is, though, and see if you can't set off those gas tanks with it, which I've never seen done, but hey, maybe it can happen. I don't know. You tell me. Pushing out here. We have a charger and a smoker, both extremely useful in this event. It would be also nice to have a boomer, but it's just not in the cards this time. Now, spitters can be equally useful along with this hunter. Uh, you don't want to go with the charger because chances are that charger is simply going for separation, not necessarily damage. Let's see how they play it. Are they going to wait it out? Yes. Yes, they are going to wait it out. Your options are rather limited. Are they going to run all the way back? No, they're not. Your options are rather limited in this area. We've all seen Left 4 Dead 1 where, well, I say we all, but most of us have seen Left 4 Dead 1 where you wait out in this room almost every time you do this event. With charges and spitters, you don't want to do it left it in two. This is why, right there. <laughs> Not a good spot to wait because there are Buku spawns in there. You can drop infected from the roof, you can spawn them in front, you can do whatever you want. But the charger spitter combos in that room are devastating because it is such a small room. Boomer is not so useful, but we had a good combination for, for them to wait in that room with. Now that they've cleared the attack, they are not going to move out. They are going to do it the right way, I guess. If you could call it the right way, they're going to kill all the horde and then go. Which can make this event extremely easy. However, if we are able to land that boomer on them while they're running, they will take a, a sizable horde. There goes the boomer. Right there. Hunter is able to get off. Not, I'm going for the one green guy. Able to get a hold of him and drag him into the closet. Not quite far enough, though, as Francis was watching him. Unfortunate, the spitter did go down in there. Did he get anything useful? No, he did not. Not quite. They were all able to move out of it, or it missed. Who knows? Yeah, like I said, Boomer is a little bit less useful in that room than a charger-spitter combination. We will see what our next combo is, though. Generally, you can get about three attacks off before they move. There is the charger. Spitter did just go and die. Unfortunate. Now perhaps waiting for the uh, rush to the event. If they were smart, they would wait to clear our attack and then rush the event. But I don't think we're going to give them that opportunity. Again, we have a smoker charger up. We purposely saved these two for the event. That was entirely purposeful. We knew what we were doing.
Now they should be moving out soon. Very, very soon. The horde has subsided. This is why I hate waiting out this event. It is so goddamn boring. Ah. Okay, finally on the move. Getting out of there. They do pick that hunter who was coming for a damage pounce and landed on a piece of unseeable geometry, I imagine. Because there is a lot of it in this level. We're going to go for the charger spitter in this room, it looks like. Um, it is an unexpected, unexpected attack, and it is very, very good sometimes. However, I expected him to drop early right there, and they did not. Fran or Bill came through the doorway, or through the windows, rather. Jeez, can't talk. And I'm going to completely miss that charge. Able to get one scratch, and Spitter does go in that room. Completely fucking up that attack, entirely my fault. I thought Zoe was going to drop a lot sooner than she did. We still have a boomerang, which can be useful to slow them down here. Will we get anything good with it? No, we will not. Not quite. Wait for everybody to come in. See what we have for this tank. Yes, saving the boomer for the tank. Yes, we are. Boomer is going up to the top railing. Good call. Good call. Probably going to be able to drop out of that little window hole up there that not many people know exists when the tank comes and they push back. Because I can almost promise you they will push back. Assuming the tank spawns near where ours did. Where ours did. This is what they're doing now. They're pushing ahead for the tank trigger. Getting really separated, actually. Getting really separated there. I'm looking for that tank trigger. Looks like, people went this way. Looks like it's not going to happen until the sewers. Which is... Eh? Maybe good for us, maybe good for them. It depends where the tank spawns at. So there is the tank spawn. Not quite in the sewers, they're probably going to push all the way back to that event space, I imagine. Will the boom be able to go? If the boom can land here, they will not be able to move. Don't want to get lit with this tank. There we go, able to avoid that light. Beautiful. Will the boomer get anything? Perhaps? Uh, yes, he did get one. Which is going to slow him down a lot. Wait for the fire to burn entirely out as the, as the tank, guys. There's nothing worse than waiting for a fire to burn out, only to run into that fucking fire right when the graphic disappears, but it's still there. They lit a second fire up here. You need to be careful. Watch out for that fire. Yes. Gonna lose the tank. That one is gonna get it. Gonna wait out that second fire. Still all green survivors, which means chasing them is absolutely useless, and if you're on fire, it sucks even more. Tank is probably gonna go AI because they are pushing way, way back. Charger may be able to push them into the tank, which is what you want to do. But this doorway is being lost rather well. Apparently, I was out a little too far there. Charger trying to go through that doorway, not quite making it. They're in a good position now. They're just going to melt this tank when it comes close. Ooh, Lewis getting a little stuck on that doorway. Tank does not have much time left. Probably about 45 seconds, I imagine. Going to go for one faithful hit on that forklift, I imagine. Is it going to happen? No, it's going to get stuck up there. Oh, that sucks. That sucks so bad. Yeah, that is unfortunate. The tank's options were rather limited in that area. Anyway, you've got a lot of narrow hallways to run through, and they had three Molotovs there. Uh, the chances of getting through that were just uh, very low, uh, especially when they've got no event horde behind them to stop them from running backwards. Doesn't matter though, we downed one, and that is all that matters because of the fact that we will get the damage points for that. However, their tank did hit a forklift into one of our guys. Which, as we all know, the forklift's damage points are buggy as hell. Or I shouldn't say the forklifts, I should say collidable's damage points are buggy as hell because they will, uh. Well, you can get a lot of points if you hit a car into somebody who's down. Am I gonna get anybody that's moving from the hole? Yes, just one. And then popping my head out of the hole and getting shot and getting two. Uh. Okay, why, why shoot me? I don't get it. But whatever, they're just gonna wait anyway. Uh, yeah. Maybe should have just waited for one of them to drop and then gone. Uh, putting the boomerang and booming through that hole was kind of useless. Or perhaps should have just spawned it and waited down there. Waiting for the first one to drop. Did one drop? No, it did not. 
There we go. Waiting with the spitter down here. They're going to go clear the attack now. Thankfully the jockey and the smoker did not spawn and I spawned down here. Meaning that we may yet get a separation. Perhaps? No, not quite. Not quite. It was close though. Smoke did happen and it got him all the way to him. But he did get clear. That's alright. That's kind of a... Uh, I don't know. It doesn't really happen very often that you get a good separation like that. However, I did play a game again the other day. Uh, yesterday, actually, with this same group. Where we got an extremely good separation on the Dark Carnival drop hole. It was incredible considering how good the other team was doing and it saved us the game. So, you know, that's not to say you shouldn't try those separation attacks because sometimes they do work even against the good teams. I'm gonna put the boomer at the top of this hole. This is going to plug this hole with Horde, which is very good. If this hole is not plugged with Horde, they will just walk right up it like it's nothing. Now, I say that and the Horde isn't coming now because the Horde is retarded apparently. Plugging the hole again, able to bounce somebody all the way down to the bottom. They probably took some fall damage from that, I imagine. And then there's the hole being plugged with Horde. Very good. Bill stopping it all on his face. We have a good combination up here with the Charger, Spitter, and Hunter. Hunter can pounce the guy on the ladder and knock him all the way down to the bottom and do that damage I was talking about earlier. There's the spit again. There's the pounce all the way down and downing him. Charger does go and push somebody all the way off to the side, which is very good if I can cover it. Can I cover it? Yes, I can. They are not going to be able to make it up this hole. No way in hell that guy up top is dead. You need to bide my time. You can drop somebody back down that hole with a jockey, which would do the same thing as a hunter did. Assuming you don't get me the offer, I'm going to hit the bottom. Should be going right now, getting on her head. You're not quite going to do it, though. There she <laughs> It's shot and in capped on the top of the ladder. Whoa, he came out of nowhere. Was not quite expecting him. I remember that happening. And seeing it again it confused the hell out of me too. Kind of snuck up on me, but we, dare, we were able to clear them there. Oh, that bile probably did fuck them. Um, that is what called all the horde at the top of the hole. Which is not what you want to happen. You know, same thing as a boom. So, uh, yeah. It would kind of uh, get a little bit lucky there with that wire. It happened because of that boom, basically. You know, with that specific drop point, it's all about getting that boom off and plugging that hole with the horde, and that will allow you to do the damage. Uh, without a boomer, that attack is pretty bad, actually. Gonna push out here. Uh, having shotguns in this room is extremely helpful for the first uh, for the first attack here. It will aid you significantly. Boomer and charger from the front. Seeing that charger go by, gonna go try and clear it. Charger did not get a hold of anyone though. Boomer did go off in the middle of all of us, I imagine hitting all four. I'm simply assuming that it did. Smoker is up back here. Communication right there, that's how I saw that. Now we have a push forward, we did not take a lot of damage from that. It may have looked bad, but it really wasn't all that bad. Uh, because of the fact that we were clearing quickly. Very nice. Cutting down as much forward as I can as I rush forward here. Is there going to be a witch up here? very common for it to happen up here. Yes, you do hear it right there. They will have an attack up. Will they set up on it in time? Uh, I don't know. Jester's probably going to go for the rush. I did not know it was right there. Good for him that he got that. Where is the other infected? It's not going to happen right there, apparently. Good rush on that witch, which is an extremely strong tactic, guys. Rushing witches as soon as they spawn. Uh, with good players, it can be done, and it can be done extremely effectively. Jester has showed me that on many occasions. Charger going way, way, way late, with a boomer also way, way late with that attack back there. Way late! And that was wasteful right there, you might as well have just waited. That was... oof -da. Shooting gallery now. Clearing the infected. Smoker is at the door there, an AI smoker, curiously enough. I wish I had a tab menu because one of them may have left is how you got that AI smoker. I'm very bad about paying attention to the chat whilst I am doing commentaries. There is the little dip in horde action in the middle of this event. It'll be coming more here quickly. There's the trickle and the more horde. Spitter not able to quite get that spit in here. Uh, not really an issue. Spit's in here anyway. If you have a team that knows what they're doing, elevator is here. We're gonna rush through apparently during this horde. 
which, uh, that's whatever. Sometimes you can make it happen. There's a charge back. And a boom going off. There is no spitter in their combination, though, so we don't have to worry about that, which is where the damage would have come from during this attack. So much, so much horde. Didn't even grab ammo as I came up here. Sounds like a vote kick went off right there. On their fourth. Uh, maybe they did have somebody leave earlier, and they didn't like him. <laughs> uh, whatever. You know, it's, it's your choice if you vote kick people during an intense game. That's why it's always a good idea to have a, a fair amount of friends that you know that play this game that are willing to bounce in during a random game like this, because it is extremely helpful. And it can keep close games like this close, people like me, who like close games. This elevator is extremely buggy. Uh, you guys may have fallen through the floor before. I have done it on several occasions, and on each occasion it is hilarious. It is a very funny thing to witness. I suggest you go to this elevator and try it multiple times until you fall through the floor. Because it is enjoyable to watch, and your character screams all the way to the bottom, and they're, you know, extremely painful deaths from falling a great distance. But that's enough of that. Waiting for the charge to be cleared before we rush this. Doesn't mean you can't push forward quickly, though. The spitter does go right there, along with something else, I would assume. No, just the spit going down. Uh, it did cause a separation, but a very small one and an unimportant one. Probably going to be a smoker up across this smoke spot, I imagine, because that is very common. Especially amongst the public players. Waiting for people to block that spawn before I push forward. There goes the charge on Jester up front. That sucks. And there's the reverse smoke. Able to clear that before he goes off the edge. Speed is everything when you're clearing that smoke, guys. Gotta listen for that smoke to go. Be ready for it. Be ready to listen for it. That's the more important thing. Know that it's gonna happen. I don't care if you just killed the smoker. Be ready for it to happen. Every time you run through there, you gotta be ready for it. Same with the death charges up here, it's something that should be in the back of your head the entire time you're up in this area. Is that there's gonna be a smoke going down. Mostly right there. Able to get everyone in here without an issue. Uh, once that charge goes down, you can pretty much rush that room. That's not gonna be a huge issue though. I mean, you're looking at 25 plus the extra 25 for the map distance, so 50 points total. Which is about what we got for the damage bonuses for the first two rounds. So, damage bonus is paying off right there. Very nice. Uh, charge a boomer for this first attack. Uh, with the smoker jockey for support. I doubt it will be a good attack unless they split up significantly. There goes the boomer pick. That is not going to be a good attack now. Uh, I'm not sure how he picked that boomer. I didn't really see it. I mean, I wasn't expecting it to happen. Perhaps just spamming that area with bullets, expecting something to spawn there. Uh, an effective method, maybe. It's not very useful anywhere else. I mean, maybe if you're good at memorizing maps, it could be useful. Throw the stack right here on the back too. Um, didn't want to drag him into this room and this jockey bug again, so I can't see what's going on. Everything got cut down rather quickly there. Uh, spit did go down and do a little bit of damage. Not going to put anyone into colors though. That's too bad. Did take a little bit off the super green though taking someone down, I'm sure, to regular green, which is always a good thing. Pushing forward rather slowly, actually. They're kind of going very slowly. Maybe be able to have something in for this witch. Get this boomer up here. There we go, spawn it. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Um, probably not going to be useful. Everybody's sitting on auto shotties, and if somebody just shoots her, there we go. Yeah, with people sitting on auto shotties and in an area like that where the witch has to run around a lot of corners, I find that their usefulness diminishes rather quickly. If it's a straight run to the person that has triggered them, they are a little more useful. But corners and obstacles are not witch's friends at all. Just something to keep note of, you know. When you're running away from a witch, try to uh, use as many obstacles as you can to your advantage. Shutting doors, jumping over desks, uh, going around corners. I don't know, shit. Anything you can think of to break the path between you and the witch. Something you should know. Maybe I'll get a pounce here on this guy. It really doesn't matter what you do right there, as long as you do something. Occasionally you can set up a good attack, but just after going on that witch and everybody spawning in right there, it, it's hard to organize an attack that rapidly. Able to get a decent boom. However, in that back room with nobody up, it's not going to be useful at all. Because it is a shooting gallery, as I have said many times.
we'll see if we get a good uh, charger here. A good charger, yeah. We'll see if we get a charger here. And a spitter would be nice, but not necessary. Nope, dual support with a smoker hunter. Not exactly the combination you want to see for the run to the say or to the uh, elevator. But it can maybe slow him down a little bit at least. Especially if you get a good boom. You might be able to make something happen with the smoker. And spitter. Mm. Spitter is staying on the heels of the hunter. Very good idea. The hunt spit combination is something you see more in uh, more in Confogel than anything. You'll see the hunter spitter combos and the hunter charger combos going down flawlessly. But uh, here we go. Able to get something a little too close to him when I smoked. A little too close to him. Like I said, it, it wasn't going to be a good attack uh, simply because the dual support with uh, crappy in caps. It's not going to be very good. They were able to run all the way to the elevator. No problemo. There they go. Uh, the good thing about that is it did give us enough off of our spawn timers there to get the combination we want on this roof. It is rare, but occasionally you will not get chargers right away. There I am the charger, thankfully. And you will also not get smokers right away, so you may need to waste, depending on what your preference is. There goes Domino off the roof of that hunter. Probably going to give a smoker. Scared myself there. I thought I was going to run off that roof with the charger. Um, jockeys can perform the same task as a smoker, but in a much shorter time span. It's jockey then charge. I mean, it's almost instant. Jockey just holds their model in place. Uh, their server model, if you will, their collision model holds them in place. So that they don't, uh, well, so you don't go through them. Everybody's gone through somebody with a charger. <laughs> like I said, you should always read the chats in my games, because chances are they're pretty freaking funny. I should not have spawned that charger right there. That was entirely stupid of me. Should have waited support for support. That was kind of a wasteful thing to do. Maybe feeling sorry for the other team, perhaps. Um, that will close the point gap on us significantly. Able to almost get that smoke. Why are there only three of them? Did somebody jump? Or did somebody fall? Somebody may have fallen through the elevator. That's right. That is right. That is why I wasted that charger, because somebody fell through the elevator shaft, which, if you fall through that elevator shaft, you get very little map movement, actually. A lot less than you would think you should. That was kind of a spit fail with a win at the end of it, in parentheses. Spit fail, parentheses win. Because it was a crappy spit, not where I wanted it to go, but it did its purpose. We are able to keep him down here for a little bit. Able to uh, get a few scratches, a few extra damage points. Not that it matters at this point anyway. Uh, simply because, you know, they did lose one and we lost one. So the damage points are completely irrelevant when it comes to total game points. See what I mean by map distance? Dying at that elevator costs them about 25% map, if not a little bit more. Maybe even 30% map. Which is huge. Why would it be so huge to sit in that elevator causing that much map distance? I mean, that is just... It's ridiculous and bad coding. <laughs> but uh, yeah, still one round and the game is still the game is still close. The game is still very close. It's, it's not Almost so there. unbalanced to the point where people just jump off the edge. Yeah, and there a guy saying on the other team how the elevator ride up there is about 20% level, believe it or not. Which is uh, ridiculous, to say the least. 25% uh, level. It is a larger amount than it needs to be, that is for sure. Um, I don't know why we're sitting in the safe room. There's Even if you go rush out, because you're not going to get attacked before the roof. Nobody attacks before the roof. Yeah, it is. It's pretty ridiculous that that elevator makes up for that much map. Missing both of those shots on both of those zombies. I didn't kill either of them. Whoops. Pushing out now. This shotgun's spread is slightly wider and narrow and uh, not quite as tall as the shotgun spread of the spaz which would be my preferred shotgun an interesting side note or maybe it's the other way around i don't fucking remember one of the shotguns is more of a wide spread the other one's more of a narrow spread this actually may be the narrow spread though. i'm not really sure no 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 this is a wider one yeah yeah i was right sorry to make doubting myself there yeah. eh whatever 
Don't assume that both tier 2 variants of a weapon are the same because they are not. Throwing a pipe bomb up there. Dos el pipe bombos. Uh, it's extremely useful for clearing shit if you come up as it goes off. Boom, right there, gonna stop that jockey and it's gonna smell the charger, I think, kinda fucked up his charge. Yeah, pipe bombs, their explosion will clear infected if you time it properly, which can be done. It can be done. It's not undoable, as proven right there, it works. It does work. Did take a little bit of damage on that attack, though. It wasn't like they completely wasted right there. Took a small amount of damage. There are Buku med packs. Buku med packs on this map. There are a lot of them. You have four in the safe room and four out here, as you probably already know, which means that you can heal a lot of times. That being said, the job of the infected team is to make it to where you cannot heal. Obviously. They did get a boom off right there. Actually, it was the second boom, just before the event starts. Uh, not going to be a huge issue. Unless we see some crazy combination attack right here, such as a Jockey Charge, which is one of my favorite attacks ever. I love it when attacks are smooth and easy to pull off. A lot of pipe bombs over here. Yes, they're getting smoked right there. They're able to shoot the tongue. There is a Jockey on the map somewhere. It may have just got cleared. Um, a side note about this gun, it is extremely useful, but it takes eight days to reload, as you know if you've ever used it. So don't uh, don't be afraid to just leave 18 rounds in the gun. Don't be afraid to just leave 10 rounds in the gun. Just make sure that when you get a sigh in the motion, to reload it. And keep an eye on the ammunition. 30 is a lot of sniper rounds. You can kill quite a few infected with that many shots. Wow, getting lucky with that headshot right there. Looking at our first tank now. How he comes in will be curious. Oh no, we're going to take another horde here, aren't we? Well, that's right. There's still another horde, isn't there? Boomer did get picked right there. Difficult to get a boom off in this map with this spread. Um, the person on that center platform by the med packs is exposed to the jockey charger combination. However, we are sitting on some good sniping and good shooting abilities over here. Um, we all have long-range guns, so it would be difficult to pull off before getting cleared with the jockey. Something to keep in mind. I'm not really a fan of keeping anybody on that center platform anymore. Uh, for fear of a jockey charger combination, it is best to avoid the attacks than count on the fact that you can clear them. Smoker is up in the bottom left hole there. That is a very unusual spot for that smoker. Not quite able to clear it. Yeah, there we go. Did go down. Jo uh, tank is up. Boomer getting picked once again. Like I said, very difficult to uh, get a boom off on this map. Getting charged right there, along with the jockey going off on Hollywood. Those two should have been together. Tank did get lit. It's going to take a little bit of chain gun fire right here, which is going to cause a lot of damage to him. Me pushing down here with this tier 1 sniper, not checking that doorway. Don't run into that doorway with the tank on the map. You never know where he's at. Need to be cautious. Did take a hit right there. That's not good. He's going to try and keep me in this room now. He does a very good job of it. Tank is lit, though. He is running out of time. There he goes. Uh, consider a lit tank to be a timed tank. Once that tank lights, you only have so long to use it. Hunter just came in maybe for a pity attack or a pity waste out. There goes a the smoke off on somebody on that railing. Uh, bad idea to run across that railing right there. Charger did just go, so it's... Well, the charger may be up again. Can never assume that you're not they're not gonna have an infected two seconds in a row. There's a jock up here, that's gonna suck in the spit too. Ouchies. Thank you, a little bit of spit buggage right there stopped the uh, spit from doing any damage to me after the jockey was cleared, which is very good for me. Gonna light right there. Lots of horde running around that I need to get rid of. Heading back up to my other spot. I am in that uh, Well the range of health where you are only a few hits away from being slow. It's a uh, a false safety, a false green. You, you, it's a dangerous spot to be sitting in, actually. Not that you would heal immediately when you're slow, but you can't assume that when you're in this range of health that you are going to be good all the time. And it's only going to take a few zombie hits to take you down to slow. Domino getting smoked there. 
um, to no end. I mean, there was there was no point to going on that smoker. It just was a waste. Reloading. You're gonna use a pipe bomb and a Molotov at the same time. That Molotov was really cool, actually. Straight up in the air, and straight back down. <laughs> There's the second tank. We are sitting very well. Probably should be healing for this tank. Yeah, there we go. Realizing what health I'm at now, or maybe not. Just kidding, not gonna heal. Haha, -ha, fooled you and myself. There's a boomer down there. Need to back away from the ledge. Do not stand next to the edge when you know this boomer. Oh, never mind, he's further down. There we go, able to pick him. It is an AI boomer, so the tank got the, or the boomer got the tank. Which, I've said it before, really sucks. Uh, it's terrible, absolutely terrible to get the tank when you're the boomer. Charger is up behind this building. You need to be aware of that. I'm gonna light this can as I'm running away. Charger did go missing something. There's still one pipe bomb here, not gonna be very useful on the tank. I'm gonna snipe for a few extra shots on the tank. He does get a hit off on Jester, which puts him down to the red, so he's gonna be rather slow, actually. But we should be able to make our way towards the platform here, down this tank, before it becomes an issue. There goes a boom in the back, now that pipe bomb's gonna be useful. There it is. And there's where that gun sucks, that sniper. When you need to reload. Tank's gotta be close, there he goes. And Jester up top, getting jockeyed. Oh, he's able to get cleared. Thankfully, I need to be heading towards the platform with the helicopter. Where am I going? Where, where am I going? Where am I going? Just being stupid at this point. Down to 45 health. Now, this is a true false screen right here. This is not good at all. What am I doing? The chopper is on the map. Silly goose, you need to be running up here. Apparently, somebody else is playing around over there as well. Where the heck did that fire go? That was an extremely small radius on that fire. And we just cannot catch a break with that guy that's over there. He's just getting attacked left and right. Tank is on the map. He's closer than the person who's running here. Which means we need to get in this chopper. Oh, Charger. He gets punted right before he makes it there. Oh, that sucks. It's kind of funny, but it sucks. It smacked right before he makes it into the helicopter. That was movie style right there. Epic shit. Epic shit. Uh, the question is, are the points far enough apart to where they cannot win anymore? I would think so, seeing as we were throwing out the GG's as opposed to the GR's. Good games as opposed to good rounds, in case you didn't know what that means. Do do do. And yes, the point gap is unwinnable. Very nice. So, uh, I'm kind of curious if they play it out or not. That was a really cool tank hit. Maybe that'll make them want to play it out. I don't know. Time will tell. Time will tell. I'd love to get this roof attack off. Love it so much that I will uh, I will watch the rest of this. Because it is, it is very enjoyable. Dropping the jockey. And getting stuck on something I didn't know I could even land on anything down there. <laughs> something to keep note of. There we go. Everybody left. Perfect. <laughs> so yeah, that is that game. It was a, it was a close game. I mean, there were a lot of kind of, uh, you know, maybe moments, but uh, it was still a very fun game.